Rainmakers, efficiency. Cells function with the smallest possible expenditure or energy. Typically, a cell stores only three seconds of food and oxygen within its cell's wall. It trusts totally on being provided for. In this moment, I got the feeling a lot of us aren't trusting that we will be provided for. Stress is, because, stress is caused by our nervousness, our reaction to what if, what's going to happen to me. Breathe deep. We will be provided for. Excessive consumption of food, air, or water is not an option. Being. Cells obey the universal cycle of rest and activity, the most obvious expression of which is sleep. Why we need to sleep, still a medical mystery, yet complete dysfunction develops if we don't enjoy its benefits. How many of you have ever been frenetic, in a frenetic mood? I can get frenetic. You can see that I have a lot of energy within me. How many times I've opened up a refrigerator looking for the gallon of milk and I can't find it and I start screaming, where's the gallon of milk? It was in here yesterday, where did it go today? My energy becomes so frenetic that I can't see. And invariably, somebody else, that would be my wife Katie, she will open up the refrigerator and there will be the gallon of milk front and center. Women, you know that's happened before. <clears throat> Rainmakers being obsessively active or aggressive or frenetic is not an option. Creativity. Although every cell has a unique function, these combine in creative ways. A person can digest food never, never eaten before. A person can think thoughts never thought of before. A person can dance in a way never seen before. Clinging to old behaviors is not an option. Bonding, that's what we do great here. Due to their common genetic inheritance, cells know that they're fundamentally different. Whether it's a liver cell communicating from a heart cell or muscle cells different from a brain cell, they're always tied to the same source. Healthy cells are tied to their source no matter what. You know what? We are all the same. We're made from the same stuff, and we don't appreciate that we're made from the same stuff. Rainmakers, being an outcast is not an option. My two favorite. Number nine, giving. This is all about rainmakers. Giving cells. The primary activity, the primary activity of cells is giving which maintains the integrity of all cells. Now think of those words. Primary activity of cells is giving. The primary responsibility of a rainmaker is giving. That's what we do best. And it maintains the integrity of everything else. Total commitment to giving makes receiving automatic. And I've never thought of it before. And yet I can see people in this room who live this total commitment to giving makes receiving automatic. Do you receive things automatically or do you have trouble receiving good things that are coming your way? It means you're not giving enough. It means you're not committed totally to giving. Rainmakers, hoarding is not an option. And the last one, immortality. This is what we do well here too. Cells reproduce in order to pass on their knowledge their experience and their talents. Their knowledge, their experiences, and their talents. Tony, how many events is it a week now? 41, 43 events, over 1,700 members of Rainmakers. All of us designed to pass on our knowledge, our experience, and our talents. You know what cells can't do? They can't withhold this information to their offspring. Cells have to pass things on. We're wired to pass on our experiences and our knowledge. Rainmakers, the generation gap is not an option. We have a choice. to pick one of these. If you will take the time to consider the wisdom of cells and what they pass on, if you would just pick one of these themes and try to live it, you begin to choose to become a cell of higher purpose. 
you start to choose the wisdom of the cells and you start to bring wisdom into your own life. Those of you who know me, you know I preach one message and that is calmness of mind. If you're going to be a trusted advisor in this environment, if you choose to be a rainmaker in this environment, you choose to demonstrate calmness of mind. That's all your clients want to hear from you. Their pace is frenetic. They're confused. You're not. If you want to demonstrate wisdom, if you want to demonstrate the life of your cells, you start to demonstrate calmness of mind. You can choose any one of these, and you live it no matter what role you choose, whether as a parent, a teacher, a coach, a salesperson, a trusted advisor, a rainmaker. You have an opportunity to choose just one of these, only one, and that's all we ask you to do as a rainmaker. And I know that there are people in this room who I am preaching to the choir. I know that there are people in this room who have been letting the wisdom of their cells conduct them for a long time. You guys are the ones that we like to be with the most. You guys are the ones that we feel most connected to, the safest to be with, the, the most honored to laugh with, to play with, to consort amongst, and to enjoy. Those of you who are always already living the wisdom of yourselves, I ask you to consider passing this on. I ask you to consider to allowing all this to see you fully and to see the wisdom of your life. I'm asking all of you to share. Rainmakers, the world is within you right now. It always has been. Be a part of it. Work together. Share more than ever. Be as open to change as you ever have been before. Don't resist so much. Don't whine so much. Rainmakers, alone is not an option. Thanks, Rainmakers. Have a nice evening.